Early fossil records show that sharks have been around for over 450 million years, meaning they've outlived the dinosaurs, and that makes them some of Earth's most ancient creatures. Sharks are underappreciated for their positive impacts on marine environments, and they are also massively misunderstood. There's over 400 shark species, and although we've all heard stories of them coming into contact with humans, very rarely do they attack. In fact, research has shown us the main reason they do this is because they misidentify us as their prey. From below, humans look like seals, and this is the reason why sharks like the Great White approach us. Although humans and sharks often come into contact, there's a lot we don't know about them, and this has caused biologists to tag them. It helps us understand their swimming patterns, areas they visit the most and why they visit certain regions. Back in 2014, news broke that a 9-foot great white shark had been eaten by a massive giant shark. The story was featured on various websites, and various people speculated about what creature could have eaten a 9-foot great white shark. Although researchers have said the mystery is solved, and the likely candidate was a large great white shark, very rarely do great white sharks eat each other whole. They've been observed biting each other during mating and sometimes will attack if they're hungry, but never has one been observed eating another one whole. According to scientists, they said that the nine foot great white had been eaten by an unknown shark. Researchers were carrying out tests and had tagged the healthy great white in order to keep an eye on its movements. Four months later though, they were surprised when they detected that the tracker had washed up on a beach in Australia. The researchers quickly looked at the device's data to see if it could give them any indication as to what happened. The data showed them that there was a big temperature rise that went from 48 degrees to 78 degrees, and shortly after there was a sudden 2,000 foot drop. Most researchers agreed that something much larger had taken out the great white, and that this explained the rapid temperatures that were recorded, saying that it's likely the tracker was in the stomach of another creature. Filmmaker Dave Riggs said this when hearing of the story. When I was first told about the data that came back from the tag that was on the shark, I was absolutely blown away. The question that not only came to my mind but everyone's mind who was involved was what did that? It was obviously eaten. Who's gonna eat a shark that big? What could take out a knife for a great white? End quote. At first, it was theorised that an orca took out the great white. Back in 2017, great white shark sightings in and around South Africa dramatically decreased. The researchers said a total of five great whites were found washed up on the shore of Africa, each of them missing their livers. The evidence of large teeth marks clearly pointed to the local walkers. While Port and Starboard were the only present walkers in the bay, Researchers have been given word of another orca in the area, resulting in continued drops in sightings. This behaviour might point towards a different ecotype of orca, one that is primarily a shark eater. Reasons for this behavioural adaption could stem from water temperature changes, as well as overfishing. Strangely though, these orcas were only observed going for the shark's liver, and not eating any other part of the shark. So although orcas can take down great whites, it's thought that in the case of the nine-foot shark, another creature was responsible. Although scientists have not been able to come to a conclusive answer and find evidence of the exact creature responsible for what happened, they have theorised that another, much larger great white shark was responsible for what happened, saying that the shark in question could have been over 16 feet long and weighed in the region of two tonnes. Not much evidence could be shown to back up this theory, though scientists did say the area in which the tracker increased in temperature is known for having great white sharks. There's some who have suggested that a much larger shark could be to blame. There's not much evidence for this mystery shark, though people have reported it's over 30 foot long, and that it hunts along the South African coast. Although many scientists have called out the claims saying that they're made up, 
Fishermen, along with others who spend large amounts of time on the ocean, have claimed that giant great white sharks do exist. Researchers have discovered that female great white sharks are larger in size than their males, with the males having a length of 3.4 to 4.7 meters and an average weight of 522 to 770 kilograms, while the larger females have a length ranging from 4.6 to 4.9 meters and weighing between 680 to 1,100 kilograms. According to J.E. Randall, the largest great white shark reliably measured was found in Nedge Point, Western Australia. This was in 1987, and is said to have measured at least 6 metres. Around a decade later in 1988, the Canadian Shark Research Centre captured and verified a female great white shark, and this was in Alberton, Prince Edward Island, and it measured 6.1 metres. Furthermore, a great white captured off the coast of Malta in 1987 is said to have measured an estimated 7.1 metres by Gianna Bella. Photographic evidence of the shark dub Malta was thoroughly examined and was found to confirm this estimation, even suggesting it was larger than first thought. This suggests that great whites can grow to be at least 7 metres, a vast jump from the previously known size of 4.9 to 6 metres. Alternatively, the largest unconfirmed sighting of the Great White has to be the case of the shark that was found in Canada, and this was during the 1930s. Records from the time indicate that this shark appeared to measure at least 11.3 meters and weighed well over 3,000 kilograms. Scientists, though, claim these measurements are flawed. So, what do you make of the story of the nine foot Great White? What do you think it was eaten by? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.